So here is the last Toll Brothers home in Morrison Ranch here in Gilbert, Arizona. This is a beautiful home. It's just about 5,000 square foot home. It's Harlson Cottage Architecture. It's five bedroom, four and a half bath, three car garage. Got that big iron entry door there. This is a very beautiful home. This video is really for anybody that wants a $1.9 million home and wants to see an entire walkthrough, see every inch of the home. That's what this video is for. If you're looking for a home in Gilbert, Arizona for roughly $2 million, this video is for you. There's the three-sided balcony up there. What we just turned out of and we'll see again is the large dining area. This is the great room, which pretty much qualifies as a great room. There's your 30-foot sliding glass door to the backyard. There's your island. We'll do a full walk through the kitchen. That's the quartz spillover countertop. That's such a big island. It's got cupboards on both sides. You've got wolf appliances in here. There's your stove and your microwave. That's a heavy gas grate cooktop and a commercial grade venting system there. We're going to turn to the left. There's your wolf double ovens. And with wolf appliances, of course, you get the big, that's probably like a 44 inch sub zero refrigerator there. There's your countertop on that big island again, big deep sink. Beautiful quartz work there. Here's like, uh, I guess, a little coffee niche, coffee maker niche there. It'd be perfect. That's what I'd do with it. A nice walk in pantry there. Back out through the kitchen. All these cupboards throughout this whole house have all the hardware. They've all got pulls and handles on them. This this house has it all. Everything's already built into the price. The uh, the luxuries, the options, they're all built in already. That's a 60 inch fireplace. You could hang your TV there. It's got the internet and the power right there and then you could make a big bookshelf in that big giant niche. We're going to walk out in that backyard later. Here's the dining area that's just big enough for a last supper size table. And then just opposite of the kitchen is another kind of like coffee pot niche area. Another look at your kitchen and your countertops. And we're going to run back towards the front here. And this is bedroom five or your home office, but it will fully qualify as a bedroom. Look at the view of the street here. You got the view of the hills if you look hard. Beautiful covered patio, good size covered patio. You're not going to hit your knees on the columns if you put some furniture out there. See, that's why I said it does qualify as a bedroom. Another what used to be telephone niche uh, walk-in closet and it's got a beautiful bathroom. They didn't shortchange this thing. Got the quartz countertops, got the hardware on the cupboards. And it has a beautiful shower here. All the upgraded fixtures, tile all the way to the ceiling. This, this shower here is as beautiful as any other shower in the house and this is bedroom five. You got bedrooms two, three, and four upstairs along with the primary the big suite. So one thing we're missing here is light fixtures in all the bathrooms. I don't know if they're just waiting to see you can pick those, but you'll get them, that's for sure. Those will be included, I would assume, in this price. Everything's in the included in the price here. It's a move-in ready, and it is move-in ready. It's not, you know other than those light fixtures. We're going to shoot down here. And that's the path to the garage. But look at this big, uh, this is a cupboard, but look at this giant doghouse underneath these steps. And this will be your communication cabinet too. But when I see something like that, I see that a lot. 
All I can picture is a big bull mastiff in there. You know, security for the first floor while you're up there sleeping. This is a powder room for when you come, when you're coming or going to the garage. Last chance to hit the restroom there. That's not the laundry room, that's just a pass through to the garage, a utility room. Here's your garage, three car garage. We're gonna spin around here, I'm gonna show you the water softener system already built in. You've got a tankless water heater built in. You've got a beautiful window there that doesn't open. That's what I prefer for a garage. This is the back door to the side yard. And this is a big wide, both side yards are wide enough to get a tractor through. So when you go to build a pool or something, you're going to need that. Two air conditioners cool this whole 5,000 square foot home. Because the home is so well insulated, this one has extra insulation and everything, upgraded insulation. And those air conditioners are so efficient that it's only taking two of those right there to cool this whole house upstairs and down. So again, a pass through room from the garage. Got the dog house under the steps. Here's the steps so we're going to run up here. This is a three sided balcony with the primary bedroom on the right and the bedrooms two, three, and four up there on the left. And there's a loft kind of a area. Right there to your left, we're not going there yet, is your primary bedroom. It's a big one, beautiful. You got a lot of daylight windows up here, those open. Spin around, see here's your three-sided balcony. That's the primary bedroom on the right. And it's a little different because these big double doors right here, this is the entrance to your bedroom. That's the primary bath down there, that's beautiful. But this is just kind of like a landing area. You could put like a couch and table out here, almost like a hotel or something. Because the bedroom is through this door. Or it's not a door though. That's what's different here. You'll see it when we spin around. Double doors to the balcony. Nice view from this balcony. Those houses are a pretty generous distance away. Not going to be staring down in your yard too hard. If you see, you can see the hills in the distance there. That's the Superstition Mountains. So double glass doors to the balcony, big primary bedroom. It is kind of open there. There's no closing that door. Don't forget you got the bull mastiff down there in the doghouse. Keeping the place secure. Now, there's a little countertop on the right there countertop cupboard here's a big walk-in closet look at all that shelving you'd never have to even have a dresser everything just folded up on shelves there's that pass through countertop and cupboard there's your toilet room here is your double split vanity big bathroom now also, there's no light fixtures here, like I mentioned. No mirrors either, though. I, I can't imagine they're not coming or available. Look at that shower. Look at the tub. Big freestanding tub right there. And then you've got actually dual shower heads in, in this uh, shower here. Tiled all the way to the ceiling. Look at that. You could have all 17 empty bottles of shampoo on that shelf. Hopefully you're not going to have empty bottles remaining in there. I can't stand empty bottles of shampoo. So that was your walk-in closet. There's your bedroom landing area. I don't know what else to call it. Waiting area. Sit there and put on your shoes or something. There's the double doors to the bedroom. Now you overlook this three-sided balcony. To the right would be your dining room. Daylight windows don't need those to open you can't get to them but all five of those over there are open we're getting ready to punch into bedroom four down there is two and three we're not going there just yet two and three in bathroom two this is bedroom four 
Kind of a little bit different bedroom. There's a view to the mountains over there, the hills, the foothills. But it has this different little porch here, this little balcony. I don't know. To me, it looks like a home defense balcony, except that wall's probably not solid enough. Just sit here and overlook the garage, see what's going on down there. But I don't know. But it's there. It even has a porch light. Come back in. This little bedroom does have a walk in closet. Right there. And it's got its nice little bathroom. Again, they're not short changing bedroom bathrooms, you know, two, three, and four. This one has tile all the way to the ceiling, upgraded fixtures. You notice it's got the, the handle, the control knob there on the opposite side is the shower head. I kind of like that. There's your tile to the ceiling. Quartz countertop bathroom, got the hardware on the doors. Now, I'm going to jump out here, but right there on the right is your laundry room. Another nice little cupboard and quartz countertop sink. You've got gas right there, gas, electric, all your connections, and you've also got a drain pan for that washing machine, which is a big plus. Now we're going to jump down here to bedrooms two and three. That was four. So I guess this would be bedroom two. That would be bedroom three or four back there. I don't know. I got them mixed up. Double doors here. This is bedroom two. Big front yard balcony, which is unusual. That Harlson architecture, I think. Way off in the distance there is your foothills to the Superstition Mountains. Look at that big parkway you got out there. Look at the distance to the front yard neighbors. We're going to take a run down that parkway a little bit in the end. There's bedroom three double doors. And you have those light niches up above these doors. So double doors from two to three to the joint balcony there. You got kind of a half walk-in closet there. And here's bedroom three, double doors to the balcony. Lots of drainage on that balcony because when it rains here, it only rains when it pours. Monsoon rains, another half closet there. You've got four hinges on all the, on all the tall doors. See, here's another Another little bathroom, tiled all the way to the ceiling. Upgraded fixtures. A little view to the balcony windows there. So you got daylight. Again, no light fixture in this bathroom. And no mirror. But it has to be coming. We'll make sure you get that for sure. Taking a peek up there, I didn't show you that the first time through. Both bedrooms have that. And when you're out on the balcony looking up, you'll see three of those little doghouse niches. So one must just go to the attic or something. There's a view across to the primary bedroom. There's your little loft landing den area, or not den, but a loft area, landing area. And now we're gonna head back downstairs. So this hard tile flooring all throughout, except in the bedrooms, that's the only place you need carpet. There's a view to your daylight windows. Lots of light in these homes. There's your big dining area. Here's your big great room down there. Look at that island. Look at that hard tile flooring. And right there's a little receptacle cover so you can set your living room up there and have power at your coffee table. Look at that backyard. Look at that 30 foot sliders. Plenty of room for a big pool back here. Big yard. You can do a lot with this yard. Beautiful house. Lots of windows. Look at that view to that living room there. 
and during the cool outdoor season you can have those doors open you're not going to have a lot of bugs or anything you can have a pretty good little gathering pool party whatever kind of lifestyle you want to live and then that's a little covered patio going back to the kitchen island there here's another big side yard you can get a tractor and anything you need back in here for digging that pool uh, I was a pool builder for 20 years till 2020 that wall down there we knocked those down and put them back up without even thinking about it and it only takes a few hundred dollars to do that you don't need a you don't need RV gates there's supposed to be a gas stub out back here for a barbecue I have not been able to see it in the videos I didn't look for it when I was out there on the ground but here's another side yard you could come in this way if you had to knock down take the gate down and knock down one column you might cross less landscaping because you have a driveway but the driveway is paver so you're not going to cross that with a tractor anyway two air conditioners run this whole house they're very efficient the house is very well insulated that was your uh, that's your great room up there was the windows to your primary bathroom look at that yard look at that yard we're gonna shoot back through the house here another big view of that beautiful big kitchen island beautiful kitchen cupboards to the ceiling look at that you can just have a pretty big group hanging out in here back and forth to the pool and you do have that bathroom that powder room that goes to the garage you can direct everybody to that bathroom down there again a dining area big enough for the last supper table and we're gonna take a big look at this iron door here it is a solid iron door other than the glass that's a bulletproof door nobody's kicking that down it's it's not the kind of neighborhood you got to think about that but metal door jam that is a secure door big wide front porch here you can set up some pretty nice even upholstered furniture it's never gonna see Sun never gonna see rain you got they don't make a lot of porches big enough you know in the smaller homes these days so here's the big front yard view and you notice this neighborhood has grass see there's the three dog houses up top look at the parkway Carlson Cottage Architecture home site 559 Toll Brothers is the builder here very high-end builder now they build stuff as affordable as 450,000 uh, there's your third car garage there's your side yard gate one more peek at this big door here and the entrance look you can look all the way through to the backyard pool if you get one don't have to have a pool so we ran to the end of the street and we're gonna rip back down the parkway here just to show you what the drive looks like it's just a spacious neighborhood very spacious neighborhood this road goes out to Wrecker when you go across Wrecker to the left you're gonna see some screenshots I have of the Morrison Ranch lakes and also the old silos that are remaining from the farm everything here used to be farms look at that big green belt there look at all that grass all those trees imagine all that irrigation and guess what the HOA fee is only a hundred and twenty five dollars a month here that's just crazy there's that black house but it's got enough white to really offset that black I really like that I really like that and then there's that one can be yours right there there it is it's the last remaining toll brothers home in this community and gilbert's getting built out gilbert's getting built out so there it is right there the red marker you got gilbert chandler mesa phoenix scottsdale and from there you get anywhere you want to go here's those shots of the morrison ranch parkway 
Here's the Morrison Ranch Lake and those silos. That's the original real deal silo. So if this helps you give us a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. You know, if, if if you want this home, let's get you out there. Let's get you out there to see it. Let's get you, let's go walk it with you. But if you want to see something else, let me know in what city, what town, what price range. And I'll round it up for you. I'll, I'll send you links to everything you want to see. And when you get ready to see something, let's go do it. Uh, you just let me know. I'm here for you.